Hello everybody, I'm back at the river today, hoping for some brown trout and maybe some migratory fish. Stay tuned. I'm starting the day with an inline bladed lure, it has a brown trout pattern, gold, and I have a ferro swivel to keep line twist out of my line. I'm gonna hope for some nice fish today. We just got a nice rain the other day, so hopefully water's a little bit less clear and the fish will bite better. We haven't had a good rain in a couple of months, so this is kind of a nice sign. And this time of year, spurts of rain bring in the migratory fish, so it's a sign for something to come, hopefully. Oh, got one! Good fish! Oh my goodness! That's a really big brown trout! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's under the log! Oh my goodness! Holy crap! Look at that thing! It's a bohemoth! Oh! That is a good first fish of the day right there! Oh my goodness! Look at that thing! That is unbelievable! Beautiful trout! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. <sighs> wow. All right, guys, that is a bohemoth. Probably my best brown trout of the fall. Oh my goodness. You don't get that lucky. And I think that's a resident fish, too. Comment below. I know there's lake runs in here this time of year, but that's just got way too much color to be a resident fish. This is unbelievable. Just out of that nice, this nice little run here. Nice brown. I say it's probably a 17 incher. Well, everybody, I am pretty hyped about that fish. That's an amazing first fish of the day. I mean, that's usually a fish that you, like, you say, oh, that's the best one of the day, you know? Something nice like that. It's crazy. First bite of the day off of this lure right here. Dang. Yeah. You really can't complain about that. That is awesome. Now we got to hope for some more. Got one. Got another fish. What do we got? It's another brown, it looks like. Yep. There we go. It's a little bugger. Cannot beat these things here. Oh. Beauty. It's a really nice brown trout right there. big fish oh my gosh it's a steelhead oh my goodness oh he got off oh that was nuts oh 
Oh my goodness. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Whew. That was probably my chance for the day right there of, of catching a chrome. Oh, that, that is awesome though. There's a very low chance that that same fish will bite again, but you never know. So I'll fish here for a little while longer. Maybe throw a different lure at it, but whew, that is nuts. Honestly, I thought it was a snag at first, and man, I don't know. There's probably nothing more I could have did to get it in. I'm using, I have a six foot medium light action rod with six pound line. It's not what you would call steelhead setup, but when you do hook into one, you get to have some fun. <laughs> meaning you fight it for like 10 minutes. But, wow. I've been spoiled already today. Two browns hook into a, that was probably at least a 27 inch steelhead. I mean, beautiful fall day. I don't think it's gonna get to 60 degrees, but it's gonna get close and you really can't complain. It is, um, the first week in November and it's still comfortable enough to go out and about chasing salmonoids so can't beat it. Here we go, got one. Another brown trout. It's a nice one. Good fish. And there he goes. That's three browns on the day. Can't beat that. One. That guy hit like a truck. Another brown. Come on, dude. Nice looking guy. Here we go, got another one. This is a little guy. They're actually putting up quite a good fight for a small little trout. What do we got? It's a brown. Really little brown. Pretty guy, he's the future of the river right here. So yesterday, in this part of the state, there was probably an inch of rain and a huge windstorm so as you can see all along the river here there's a ton of dead trees or just fell trees but so that's kind of nice for trout habitat at least this winter give them some place to hide oh we got one we got a little bugger and there we go, first first rainbow of the day. Oh, there we go, it's quick release. Oh, there we go, got one. Another little bugger. Good colors though. Real good fish. It's all right, buddy. Nice trout.
So I was walking around and I saw this red, right? Right there, this red. I don't know if you can tell. Yellowish area, overturned gravel, but I was walking by. I casted here a couple times and right in this area, giant trout, big, big sucker. Swam right away. I spooked him. Didn't want to feed, I casted where he was hiding a couple times, but oh well. That's still pretty cool, so the big ones are in. It's up to me to not spook them and maybe get one. There we go, got one. Nice little brownie. That one, oh, that one jumped nice. It's a good trout right here. Nice bugger. Now he got some heft to him. I have switched up lures. I got my my favorite lure on, the Indiana bladed silver and purple lure. Also got a new barrel swivel on too. I was having really good luck on that gold lure. Then I just started the fishing just shut right off once I got to this hole. So I'm gonna throw on this bigger spinner and see what happens. Here we go, got one. Nice little rainbow. Good trout right here. This is a stocked rainbow too. Clipped adipose. There we got another one. What do we got? Oh, it's a brown trout. Dark colored one. Pretty fish. Very good looking. Oh, hey, there he went. Here we go, got one. It's a little bugger. Yep.
There we go. Got one. It's a rainbow trout. Little bugger. It's okay. Nice guy. Good fish. Yeah, I got some weeds. Oh, it's a leaf. <laughs> Caught me an oak leaf. I switched back to the gold and brown trout patterned lure, inline bladed. We'll see if we can get that action to come back. Got one. Little rainbow. This is the wild bow. Really good colors. Good looking trout right here. It's a rainbow. It's a wild rainbow too. Nine and a half, one inch short. Good fish though. Thank you. 